This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. History is about to be made at Clay Pigeon, as in the Junior Rotax Championship, Kai Hunter just needs a top three finish in the 10th round of the season to become British champion. The only man who can stop him now is Tom Adams, but he's under no illusions how hard the task ahead is. So far the weekend's gone quite good. We were quick in practice, we've pulled it over on quali, we won the first heat but only finished third in the heat just then, so hopefully we can do what we did in the first heat in the finals. Clay Pigeon, it's very fast. It's got some quite technical corners, but yeah, it's a really good track. It's good because you still have quite heavy braking points, which later you brake is better, and you've got the long straight, which has a really good toe, so there's a lot of overtaking bases as well. A rain shower before the start really settling things out, but slick tyres are the order of proceedings if it doesn't rain again. Tom Adams, James Crossley, Guy Hunter, Harrison Collings, Taylor Truman and Ellswood, Jake Sanson, Sam Hunter and Nachi Hamera with you. Here we go! A cracking start in the first corner, an absolute flyer from Tom Adams. Oh, contact! Big shot! Big shot into the barriers! That is the 58 that's gone around of Edward Matthews, who won the repechage earlier. Big shot in the first corner, and there's carts all over the place as they try and fight their way through the first couple of corners. An absolutely heroic battle to get to the first corner, but a really exciting tussle. Out in front, it is the E-plane of Adams and his main opposition for the title, Kai Hunter. He's up to second place already in front of James Crossley. So a really heroic scrap has already begun in this battle for position. So let's see how the drivers battle away. In through the first corner, yellow flags are waving thanks to Ed Matthews. So they will not go green again until after Billy's blind. Ed Matthews is out of the cart, he's okay, but it was a very nasty start to the race for him and a very quick end to one as well. Here goes Kai Hunter for the lead of the race and potentially to seal the title if he can hang on to it. They get squeezed, but they just about hang on in there. James Crossley trying to get up into second place, unable to make it. So Tom Adams ends up in second, Kai Hunter leading, and if he wins this race, he's the junior Rotax British champion. Yeah, fantastic manoeuvre there from Kai Hunter who is, as you say, looking to wrap up the championship this weekend. Tom Adams, well, he might have won the E-plate. At the moment, it's not looking likely that he's going to be able to win the British Karting Championship here in this Junior Rotax race, the concluding race of the day, of course, as uh, they head towards the hairpin once again. Tom Adams in second place has his work cut out now. So this is going to be a very tight fight, but don't count out James Crossley yet in third position. The privateer has been absolutely monstrous through the earlier final and is bound to be a contender again in this one as he creeps onto the back of Tom Adams. In fourth place, that is Ryan Taylor Truman. Then Harrison Collins, who won both his heats earlier in the weekend. Will Ellsworth there in sixth. Will Jenkins is there in seventh position. Eighth place, that is Jack Steadman. As again, James Crossley starts to open up the taps to get a move on Tom Adams. They have just about got through the worst of the greasy conditions in the formation laps. So I think it's now just about race car. Up the inside, that is Taylor Truman. Ryan Taylor Truman in the third position. And it looks as though Crossley's just going to be able to hang on in front of Harrison Collings, who tried to get through in the fourth position immediately as well. But an amazing bit of race driving there in the battle for third position. That has given Tom Adams a little bit of breathing space. And he's not done. He's going to get after Kai Hunter once again. And as they head through to Billy's blind now, it looks as though the slick tyre decision they made, Matchy, at the start of the race was bang on as Crossley gets into third position. So slick tyres was definitely the right call. Yeah, with um, three minutes gone, it seems so, um, so good so far. You know, every, uh, as a collective, they all made the right decision. Hopefully it won't rain. Um, in their case till the end of the race but we have to wait and see so a great battle as drivers are still trying to make up positions Kai Hunter leads Tom Adams in second Ryan Taylor Truman has dropped himself back into fourth position behind James Crossley Collins is trying to make the move into fourth place up towards Billy's blind in sixth is Ellsworth then it is Jenkins then it's Stedman Miles Barthorpe and Archie Brown in the top ten so some really good racing 
but it's not going to be easy to work this one out as again the battle of the third position intensifies Crossley able to stretch out a little bit of a gap but uh, Ryan Taylor Truman and Harrison Collins both very even as they come off the turn at uh, the horseshoe oh and contact in the mid pack that's the 29 going sideways and losing about three places that unfortunately is Taylor Babs losing a little bit of ground Tom Adams though Sam is reeling in Kai Hunter his initial good form seems to be slipping a little bit Tom Adams wants a piece of him yeah absolutely Kai Hunter under the cotch at the moment from Tom Adams who as we know is in great form and knows his way around the circuit very well I have to admit early doors I'm surprised that their lap times are so fast they're still setting 35 threes in the, in the low 35 some of them uh, which is really quick considering the, the track you consider probably at this stage damp but it's dried out really quickly and uh, often you see in wet conditions that the drivers are often a lot more cautious of course the racing doesn't usually go so hectic because the drivers are so aware of the fact they might spin out and in the dry racing usually it has a few more accidents but we could see a bit more of that as this race goes on this, this battle between the top two is remaining relatively consistent at the moment though Hunter and Adams the gap remaining pretty equidistant to how it was Lap 8 of this race, 10 and a half minutes still on the clock. A long way to go before Kai Hunter can taste championship winning success. He has won 7 out of 9 finals so far this season. This is the 10th, and if he wins an 8th, he has pretty much sealed the deal. There's some warning flags. Well, there's a 15 warning flag. Now, that is uh, the 15. Uh, Spencer Schinner, who was battling in the repercharge earlier on, Will Ellsworth has been given a warning as well, and that's probably why he's bi biding his time and getting in himself up the order he's got himself up in the fourth place now Harrison Collins coming from a way back up the inside and he gets the place back from Ellswood and then here comes Will Jenkins for a go to try and make his beat up the inside and watch for the 65 lovely move on the inside there from uh, that is Ryan Taylor Truman again making magic out of the second oh James Crossley's pulled off James Crossley pulling off from third position James Crossley's incredible weekend is over he's got a mechanical problem mechanical flag in fact for James Crossley he was given the mechanical flag something was not right on the car and it's game over from third that is heartbreaking match he drove so well yeah I was just managed to see the mechanical flag as he was coming past you know I couldn't see um, it wasn't clearly a bumper that was falling off maybe it was the exhaust or something but clearly it was um, endangering the safety of others um, so the official thought he had to pull over what a shame that is cruel fortunes what it does mean though is it puts the third position battle right into the vanguard of the race as Will Ellsworth tries his best to get back on terms with Harrison Collins Collins has got through in the third position back past him again Ellsworth fourth Taylor Truman in fifth, then Jenkins, Stedman, Brown, Barthorpe, Tim and Rock and Harry Newman Oakley from Matthew Higgins and Will Egby, then Jensen Watts. But the leading two are away and clear, and this is a ticking time bomb now, Sam. This is when Tom Adams is going to strike, not if. Yeah, absolutely. He's been closing that gap now. His last lap, it was 0.22 of a second, and this time by, I suspect it will be pretty similar, if not a tiny bit smaller across the line. This time it's 0.21, so he was a hundredth quicker on that last lap. Certainly not much in it, but Kai Hunter, at the moment, he still has the advantage. He knows how important this race is, of course, as his battle for third really heats up as well. Collings, who can't quite carry the uh, pace that he had in the heats over to these finals so far. Collings might be slightly disappointed with his uh, final performance in the first one and now in the second one he's trying to catch up to the top two but the gap between the uh, the second place Tom Adams and, ha and Harrison Collins cart is over two seconds so that looks fairly unlikely likely to be one of the top two to take the victory here those clouds are still threatening to make a reappearance on the circuit as they hover over the top end of the circuit of a hands hairpin and horseshoe so let's see if they break again. If they do, they're all on slick tyres, they're all in the same boat, and it becomes about pure cart control. But Kai Hunter leads Tom Adams by a couple of tenths of a second at most. Harrison Collings is third, about two and a half seconds back. Then Ellsworth, Taylor Truman, Stedman up to sixth place now, past Will Jenkins, Archie Brown, Tin and Rock Scott past Miles, Barfort to finish off the top ten. Eleventh is Newman Oakley, then Higgins, Egby, Watts, Hurd, Yates, Meakin, Knight, Lawrenson, Morris, Allison in 21st from Will Walker and Spencer Schinner. And we've got Taylor Babs out of the race now. Taylor Babs has joined James Crossley, Brody Trahorn and Ed Matthews on the sidelines. And that's a big lunge on the inside from Will Jenkins as he makes the move to get back past Archie Brown for seventh position. So a good overtake there from Will Jenkins as there's an absolute squabble for seventh place. That is Jenkins Brown and then another six of them all in unison. 
and that is Walk, Newman Oakley, Higgins, Egby, Barthorpe and Watts. And they are absolutely glued to each other as they go around. So we've got a whole host of battles. We've got a four-way fight for third, and we've got an eight-way fight for seventh. Really exciting stuff. As up the inside, Archibald's going to make the bid to get back past Will Jenkins. In Billy's blind, he gets there, and he's not the only one. Ward gets through, and Newman Oakley gets through. So Will Jenkins down to 10. Amazing. That is how the racing goes at Clay Pigeon. All he takes is one gap, Matchy, and you can lose countless positions. Yeah, a little bit of contact there as they all try to get past Jenkins after Archie did the move but they seem to have all survived that one so far and they've, they've built a bit of a gap now to the guys following them so we'll see if they work together and try and escape. Tom Adams is in such a strong position here in second place staying within a quarter of a second of Kai Hunter all the time Kai Hunter's doing all the work here Tom has just sat there in second place counting down the minutes they're in the second half of the race they've got time to play with this is Tom Adams opportunity this is Kai Hunter's race to lose Sam and this is all going to be about how Tom Adams chooses to play it yeah that is true Tom Adams he, is it a case of he gets past as soon as possible because I don't think that would be the most productive thing for him to do he can wait for Kai Hunter to really wear out his tyres there's a cut off of the hairpin there Yellow flag. That's Will Egby. Will Egby. Yeah, Will Egby. He was sitting in 13th position. He is off his race almost certainly over unless he can get that started against so an overtaking. There's Tom Adams just puts his hand in the air there. Not entirely sure what that's for. That'll be for the yellow flags probably. All uh, right, just notifying the uh, drivers in behind. So uh, he wasn't in the most overtaking position that he could have been behind Kai Hunter anyway. He's probably so focused on Kai Hunter, he's not really paid attention to what's going on behind him. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Uh, having... Yeah, looking at that gap over two seconds, but I did, a few laps ago, Kai Hunter for the first time opened up that margin, and it's opened up slightly more again, this time to nearly four tenths. So whether Hunter's going a bit quicker or whether Adams is just waiting a little bit towards the closing stages, we'll have to see. It will depend as well on how defensive Hunter goes. At the moment, he doesn't really need to. We are watching the two top drivers from Junior Rotax battle for the title, in essence. This is a bit like a Wimbledon final. Tom Adams is desperately fighting to keep the race going to Forest Edge. Guy Hunter, who leads, is hoping to shut it down. But with 30 points in hand, heading to the season finale at Forest Edge, I don't think that Kai Hunter is going to be catchable when you take drop scores into account. And that is a mark of just how impressive Guy Hunter has been over the course of the season. He won the first seven finals of the season. Unprecedented and unreplicated dominance. But Tom Adams in the last two finals has definitely been the strong force. Took the final earlier on, of course, with Kai Hunter only managing a third place finish. But that still means he has not been outside the top five all season and he's barely been off the top spot. So, Kai Hunter is on course for the title. Three minutes and 42. Even if Adams gets past Kai Hunter, it will still be enough for Kai to win the title. But that's not Kai Hunter's way, Matchy. He wants to beat him on the road with a win. Yeah, I mean, there's really no point for him to slow down now, is it? Uh, it's the last race of the day. He can push on for this win. He has a, quite a nice lead over him so far. And I don't think Tom's going to be able to close up much more. I mean, even if he closes up to a court length, I don't think Kai's going to let that win go away that easily. This is such a tough battle to the end of the race now. Three minutes and ten across the line with an extra lap in hand. There's still a nice battle kicking on for seventh position. We've got Tin and Rourke at the front of that queue now in front of Harry Newman Oakley, Will Jenkins and Matthew Higgins. So a nice taste of battle in the midfield. It's absolutely barnstorming as up the inside. A big lunge for the 43 of Charlie Knight as he gets on the inside of Jack Meekin. Great overtaking in the middle of this squabble. This is what you sign up for when you come racing in the British Championships. Even if you're not fighting for the victory, you've got to try and keep the battle and uh, the drivers that you're racing with in the mid-pack at bay. You learn a heck of a lot from racing in that midfield because obviously it may only be for a lower position this time, but next time, if it all goes to plan in qualifying and in heats and race trim, it could be for the victory. And those tools that you've learned by being in the middle of that mid-pack can pay dividends. But out in front with 2 minutes and 16 on the clock, plus the additional lap, this race could go the distance of about 27 laps by my mathematics. Kai Hunter in front of Tom Adams, the gap between them is only 3 tenths of a second, but has Kai Hunter done enough to keep in front of Tom Adams, or is Tom Adams, Sam, starting to reel him in because he's been conservative up till now? Yeah, he has been, and now the gap has closed once again. He's been closing over the past three laps now. Now it's down to 0.24 of a second, but Kai Hunter 
I mean, all he has to do is drive defensively for the half, the next few laps, and he's got the win. I don't think Tom Adams is going to go around the outside of him, but he does need to throw everything and the kitchen sink at Kai Hunter to try and prevent him from taking the championship here. Don't rule out this battle for third, though. It's still going on slightly. Colling's just about in charge of it at the moment with uh, Ellswood in behind. And the battle for seventh, as you mentioned, Jake, still going on strong as well. But the top two, at the moment, Hunter in the prime position, but Adams, he has got still that small margin at only 0.3 of a second after over 13 minutes of racing. That is astounding. Tom Adams is determined, he's absolutely resolute. I'm not letting Kai Hunter get away. If I've got any chance of winning this race at all, I'm gonna take it into the horseshoe. Adams still all over the back of Kai Hunter as they get back on the power, through buttons the left, uh, right-hander, sorry, and then up towards top bend, waiting for the opportunity to kick the back end out, slide it through, get back on the power, over the curves, down the pit straight, run over the yellow lines on the main straight, and then tight through that left flick, up towards Billy's blind. Lap 25 begins and Hunter still only has two tenths of a second now to Adams. This is the moment for Tom Adams. He's got to step up the attack in the same way that Will Ellswood has taken the same initiative to go after Harrison Collings. That battle of the third position is rocking on. And if it finishes like this, Ellswood moves up to third in the Drivers' Championship. If he can get past Collings, he's going to have an amazing opportunity. But Taylor Barnes retiring from the race is a massive hammer blow for him in third in the Drivers' standings before this race began. And now Ellswood is set to overtake him to the tune of 18 points. So this race is going down to the wire. Two laps to go, and Tom Adams is reeling in Kai Hunter, Matchy. This is his moment. He's got to go for it. Yeah, he's uh, closed up on him, but I don't think it will be enough, judging by the lap times. On the last lap, he was only a, a hundredth of a second quicker than him, and Kai knows that Tom's behind him, and he's not going to give him any room at all. He's just going to keep it nice and smooth for the remainder and not, give him, not make a single mistake to give Tom the gap. This is a valiant effort, Sam, but as we head into the final lap, you've got to say that Tom Adams has brought his best to the table, but Kai Hunter is a champion in waiting and likely to go for the move. Kai Hunter just seems a level above at the moment, doesn't he? He's controlling the race at the top and he's experienced enough in this last lap as it approaches the Sturby straight to hairpin. One of the last opportunities, really, for Tom Adams. I don't think he's going to be able to do it, and I think Kai Hunter's going to take another impressive victory over the course of this ridiculously successful campaign. And there's just not going to be any more chances for Tom Adams here. Last few corners now. Guy Hunter is going to come through the final bend in what has been an amazing season. He takes the chequered flag for, incredibly, the eighth time this season. And he knows that it's enough to make him the 2019 Junior Rotax champion. It's provisional, of course. It will be officially confirmed at the end of the season at Forest Edge. But by my mathematics and theirs, it is not possible for anyone else to get the title away. Kai Hunter grabs the victory from Tom Adams and Harrison Collings. Charlie Knight there using all of the road and more on the grass. Trying to get past Jordan Morris. Good attempt on the grass. But, you know, not quite, but well done for trying. Anyway. Absolutely. A fantastic run to the flag for Charlie Knight. Pushing right to the end to grab the position. Kai Hunter wins his eighth final out of ten this season. Tom Adams in second from Harrison Collins. Will Ellswood is fourth from Ryan Taylor Truman. Jack Steadman and Tiernan Rock. Then Harry Newman Oakley and Matthew Higgins. Will Jenkins and Jensen Watts. And then it's Reese Hurd in 12 from Dan Yates and Jack Meakin. Archie Brown and Hugh Lawrenson. Jordan Morris. Charlie Knight. Two was on the grass to the flag. Owen Allison and Josh Mullane. From Will Walker and Miles Barthorpe who tumbles down. Spencer Schinner and Kieran Kay. Ollie Tyler and Harry Gibson. From Dan Armstrong, Ben Casey and CJ Morgan. The retirement to Will Egby, Taylor Babs. And then James Crossley in half heartbreaking circumstances with Brody Trahorn and Ed Matthews out before the first lap was completed. But Kai Hunter has won for the eighth time out of ten. With his eighth final win of the season, Kai Hunter is now uncatchable to become British champion. Tom Adams and Harrison Collings join him on the podium after a heroic weekend for both men. Yeah, well, we've been really quick all weekend, quick in practice, but pole in our group and, yeah, won our two heats and tried to carry that momentum forwards. But these two guys have been really quick. Uh, 
Yeah, we struggled for the pace in uh, final one, but final two we found a bit and here we are. Well, first of all, well done to Kai for winning the championship. And yeah, this weekend it was good. We won the first final, second final, Kai went past and I just didn't have an, enough to keep with him. And so yeah, overall it was a good weekend, good points. Battling for second now. Um, going into the finals, uh, I just thought points make uh, what make what I really wanted is this championship. So I went into this uh, this round just wanting to get top three finishes and um, having battling with Tom like all even the, in the pre-round as well. Uh, I knew it was going to be hard to even get the win in this uh, and Harrison as well getting really really fast. So even coming away with the wins really well, so I'm happy that I got, got it.